Hey guys, Edog Plays here, bringing you guys another video. Today is Tap Titans 2, part 159. I hope you guys are all having an absolutely amazing day. Um, I'm really, really excited, actually. So, uh, we talked about in yesterday's video about how we unlocked or got enough crafting shards to go ahead and finish off the mythic set. And I'm so excited. The tournament starts here in about 24 hours, and we're going to be crafting or finishing this last piece for mechanized sword then after that we're going to be starting on treasure hunter i've talked a lot about this stuff in my live streams but basically the plan is for right now and things could change because it seems like every live stream we do i decide to kind of change it up a little bit uh, but mechanized sword we're going to finish here very very soon this tournament we're going to finish it off then next the next one we're going to be working on is treasure hunter now so what i've been what you get some of you guys have been telling me that i could switch to shadow clone right now and i could be absolutely fine and you guys have done this way before you know i'm almost at 1200 skill points you guys have done those way way before that and you had really really great luck i've also heard of people switching way too early and not being prepared and having to switch back to a clan ship build uh and now i kind of just want to be prepared for it but it also is going to take a really long time like i mean by the time we finish mechanized starter which is going to be this tournament we got to finish treasure hunter which is going to take a really long time and finish ruthless necromizer before i feel like i'm fully prepared to switch over to a shadow clone build well that's going to take a couple months for sure so i was a little worried that it's going to take too long and we're going to be you know by then we'll probably be max age like 80 000, 70 000, something like that we're going to be way higher than where we are now before we do any of that we're going to be you know thousands of skill points above where we are right now uh maybe not thousands but we'll be definitely above 2k skill points and i feel like i am waiting almost too long but i don't want to rush this i don't want to get this one i want to make sure we get treasure hunter right after we finished our mechanized sword so i need a little bit of input for you guys i want to discuss it a little bit should i switch to a shadow clone build i'm thinking shadow clone phom deck uh or build right you know as soon as we can as soon as we finish up this mechanized sword maybe i switch now maybe i switch in a couple days let me know what you guys think when should i make the switch to a shadow clone build i don't want to do a heavenly strike that's too active for me but when should i switch to a shadow clone build leave your comments down below let me know if you guys switched or what you wanted to get when you switched or what you should have done leave a comment down below i want to spark some discussion there uh on what i should be switching or when i should be switching to a shadow clone build that's kind of what i wanted to start off today's video just talking about uh because i thought it was kind of important because we've talked a lot about it on stream and there's been so many different mixed opinions so i wanted to hear what uh some of you guys on youtube thought as well as you know during my live streams i was really curious to see what you guys kind of think about that we are going to do a prestige here because we're only about 400 stages away from our max stage and the tournament does start in less than 24 hours so we don't have a ton of preparing time to do uh so we're gonna go in prestige right now so we're getting more fire stones unfortunately obviously no skill points or raid xp but we're going all the way down to 42,500. So this is basically putting us 8,000 stages below our max stage. So 8,000 stages is a lot of stages. That's a lot of grinding to be doing. And it's definitely starting to slow down a bit. Uh, but with, I feel like with the Shadow Clone build, you guys have been saying some of your runs are really, really short. Some of your runs are really quick or really long. I'm just very confused on, you know, where what I should really be doing here, to be honest with you guys. I'm, I'm not certain on where I should be uh what i should be doing when i should be switching you know all that stuff i'm a little uncertain and it's a little little difficult uh for me to kind of comprehend some of the stuff because you guys are talking about some pretty pretty technical things and i mean all i've really known is a shadow or a clan ship build right i've never heard of really researched of a uh clan or a shadow clone build so i don't really know anything about it right so i'm pretty new to this and i'm just wondering when i should go ahead and switch but enough talking about that let's go and take a look here at our book of shadows uh, we're currently at 38% before we prestige. I believe we're 85 or 88%. So we are fairly high up there. Uh, but we're going to get this prestige into Book of Shadows. And this is probably going to be the last one, to be honest with you, because the tournament does start, like I said, in about 20, less than 24 hours. So we should start, you know, getting ready. And so I'll probably do this prestige here, or upgrade this Book of Shadows, and then just get us to our max stage and join the tournament then. Uh, but we're going to do an upgrade Book of Shadows, getting it to 92.79%. Honestly, this is really, really, you know, really all we need to enter the tournament. Sometimes I like it to be above 95% or whatever, but really that's unnecessary. I could spend another 30 minutes getting another Prestige and getting it up to 95%. Is that really going to make a difference? 3% more? No. So I'm not even going to waste my time with that. Uh, there's really just no point. But I'm really excited for this tournament. This is going to be a Crafting Shards and Skill Point Tournament, or sorry, Crafting Shard Tournament. And I'm really excited because we're finishing another mythic set, our second mythic set. I'm just so excited for this. I feel like it's been a long time in the works since we've, you know, started working on the set. I should go back and take a look at my older YouTube videos and see when we started working on the set and kind of 
get an idea of how long it roughly is going to take us obviously there's so many variables how good you do in tournaments how lucky you get with you know this chest here uh because obviously there is a one percent chance of getting crafting shards and if you can get that a couple times you're doing pretty good or you know uh, the event if you complete the event to get all those crafting shards there's so many different variables variables but as you guys can see we're at 2460 diamonds that is absolutely insane we definitely have to go and do this you guys let me know in the comments from yesterday's video that to make a shadow clone build work even better we want to get our tap damage up so we're not actually tapping but it goes off the dam tap damage that you could do per second or something not 100 sure uh, but you guys told me i need tap damage so considering that we have so many diamonds we're going to go and spend all of it on every single pet we see in the shop to get everyone's passive skills up a decent amount uh, so we have all hero damage we're going to go and buy there of course we got taffy which is slash slash primary boost which is going to help as well we got scraps for range hero damage this is 150 diamonds this is a lot non-boss damage for 90 and basky melee hero damage for 90. so like i said i wouldn't be doing this normally but because we have so many diamonds i literally couldn't spend 2,000 diamonds in a tournament just on pets you know obviously if we went all out and we're buying chests and things like that it'd be different but we literally couldn't spend 2,000 diamonds on just pets uh because i mean i think the shop resets two or three times in 24 hours probably four times i think in 24 hours so it's it would be really really difficult to go and spend 2,000 diamonds probably impossible to be honest with you another thing i wanted to talk to you guys about here is our daily reward we're getting another 10 eggs and another 25 firestones i want to kind of set another goal for ourselves obviously we're going to get uh you know pretty we're going to get 3,000 firestones here pretty quickly to be honest with you but I want to set a goal. I kind of want to start to try to go for top 30%. So it's something that I've talked about before and something that I kind of just put off. But I feel like now that we're streaming, there's a lot more potential here because I'm playing the game so much more uh, than I ever really was before. So I really was thinking, should I go ahead and start grinding for that? Is that something that would be really worth it? Um, and I, I'm kind of leaning towards yes. You know, I can't really go out of my way, I guess, to continue to get Firestones. Uh, besides playing more and that's what i'm doing with these live streams you know i put in about five and a half hours during this live or during this tournament just live streaming alone you know playing a little bit off camera as well so definitely think we can go ahead and get top 30 percent we're already at 1660 so we're not doing too bad but still got a little ways before we go and enter the uh percentages we got four perks here we're getting two adrenaline rushes a make it rain as well as another adrenaline rush which is really nice if we take a look at our perks here uh we got oh two times damage we didn't even have that activated we got eight adrenaline rushes we still have one activated we have some of our perks activated from the tournament because it is still the same day as what you guys saw yesterday's video uh but we got adrenaline rush active power swiping active we have four dooms nine mana potions and 14 make it rains i definitely want to start using the make it rains more i definitely feel like oh another 15 firestones which is awesome i feel like the make it rains are really nice um they don't help you a ton but basically just makes it more afk at the beginning of a prestige because at the beginning of the prestige most of the time you're trying to collect your phom as much as you can so you can go ahead and get new uh new heroes and stuff like that but with you know getting a client like a client crate which we did before or just when we prestige here or uh you know when you activate and make it rain or something you just buy your heroes right off the bat we bought like four extra heroes right off the bat we don't have to do anything for quite a while here so this is really good for streaming so i think this is going to be a good one to use a couple times during the next tournament but again i'm so excited to continue streaming these tournaments i feel like it just makes the tournament so much more exciting uh when i stream them to be honest with you. like i said earlier like i feel like while the reason why we're doing so good is because i'm putting more time into the tournaments right i'm discussing with you guys you guys are balancing ideas off me you know strategies what i should be doing what i shouldn't be doing all that stuff and it's really really been helping uh so i'm just so excited to go ahead and continue doing that here but another bubbles another violet but again another big thing i think we talked about in yesterday's video as well is the uh the pets so we're trying to get everything to 100 percent passive which would be really really difficult especially for these tap damage pets because like i said before i've never had to buy a tap damage pet i've never done that before so definitely something is going to be a little bit different there like aura primary boost 45 percent. i kind of started to stay away from those and it obviously shows here uh fairy gold as well you know if i don't have a ton of diamonds i don't buy these pets but you know i really do want to start getting into that more and you know buying every single pet that we possibly can to be honest with you not just the ones that are higher up because you know some of these are already you know 100 right and i want to start to work on getting all of our passives to 100 i think that's going to be really important and uh really really helpful when we switch builds the fact that i don't have to have a specific pet activated is going to be absolutely awesome uh you know we were looking through in stream we were looking through some of these guys is uh we're gonna 
leaderboard here all time we're looking through some of these guys' uh you know stats and stuff like that and if we take a look here like some of these guys have like 38 thousand total pet levels or some of them have like 60 thousand that, that one's 25 thousand uh 21 thousand but some of them had just an yeah 63 thousand pet levels like i wish like the amount of money these guys probably spend you know i was having a discussion in stream about like uh, the amount of money people are spending on this game and it's kind of ridiculous i never understood it. you know some of those guys are spending thousands of thousands of dollars uh someone in chat you know their max stage is like 99,800 or something so they're really really close to max stage and he was saying that he spends he spent like probably two thousand dollars on this game so far which is just insane to me because the only thing that i've ever bought was the vip status and i think it's helped a lot but you know these guys are buying titan chests all the time so like that and i just wasn't aware of that but it, i mean it makes sense you're getting you know lots of dust from those titan chests you're getting lots of pet levels and stuff like that so all that stuff really really helps you when you're max stage and everything's really slow you got to find other ways to kind of progress because you have all the enchantments you have all the artifacts you have you know all the heroes unlocked you have all this stuff you got to find other ways to go ahead and continue to progress, right? So it's just really interesting. And I never thought about that. But guys, like I said, at the beginning of the video, let me know when you guys think I should switch over to a shadow clone build. I'm really, really trying to debate when I should, or, you know, if I should all this stuff. So leave a comment down below with your guys' thoughts and opinions. And if you did enjoy today's video, be sure to go ahead and smash like button and subscribe. So you guys don't miss any more daily content. I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace out.